So the cleanup, of course, continues across North Texas. Just a few of the images that we've gotten in through this day. This is after the big Monday storms, the tornadoes. Strongest storm we know blew through Jacksboro, where that elementary school took a direct hit. Tonight, our Alexis Wainwright introducing you to one of the students inside that building as that storm came through, who shot the video that you will only see right here on CBS 11. We're inside this building and made it out alive. We need everyone to have a seat against the wall. It's hard to see, but this is the view inside Jacksboro Elementary School when an EF3 tornado hit Monday. No lights, alarms going off, and people hiding on the floor in the hallway. The moment I got in, like all the kids were on the floor, like crying, and I'm just trying to look for my little sister. Was, like the moment it hit, it was all pitch black. I couldn't find her. In a moment where most people are panicking, the person behind the video, Betsy Aline Santana Flores, was on a mission. We have an announcement saying, like, everyone evacuate. We have the tornado warning. And the moment we heard that, everyone started to freak out. And I was just calming down. It's like, let's get my little sister out. Flores is a freshman at Jacksboro High School, but she left her building and went to look for her sister inside the elementary school, one of the hardest hit buildings across town. They told me to get down, and I got down with like her and four other kids. I told them to get under me so they don't get hurt. I was scared and terrified, so like I didn't. I was kind of worried about like, oh, I'm not gonna make it. And as they came outside, they got a look at how bad the storm truly was. And her father is still in shock about what happened. I never see like something like that. I'm lucky today because I got my family good. Jacksboro ISD says classes will resume next week. The middle school was not damaged, but the high school gym was destroyed. But the classrooms are okay, so students can return there. Meanwhile, they are still trying to find a place to relocate the elementary staff and students. Reporting in Jacksboro, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. Alexis, we thank you. Is there